Aloha, Mr. Warcross666. Uh, I am the Hawaiian teddy bear, and I reside on one of the islands, the beautiful island of Kauai in Hawaii. And I just seen your video, and I will be honest with you. The other video you posted, yeah, it pissed me off. And like you said, out of 100%, 70% was pissed off. And, you know, this is not, this is not to smash you, but it's to make points. You know, like you said, 30, 30, 35% of people commented and, you know, they did it in a real way that I guess they're not really trashing you. But on behalf of the 70% of people, you know, you, you called us a shit splat. You, you sit, you're sitting behind a computer drinking beer, not realizing how many, you know, Air Force bases or Naval bases we have here. And, you know, like you said, you know, you admit it, it's, it's a bunch of military wives. And the whole point to that is they can say what they want. I respect the military because it's not only their people that's in the military, it's our people. But as far as, as calling as a shed, uh, shed splat, that really pissed a lot of us off. You know, of course, 70% of people are going to do that if... If I decided I was going to make a, a video like how you did about Minnesota and not, not being there and not knowing nothing and just started pounding on top of it, what do you think Minnesota would do? They would probably do the same thing. You know, um, like I said, this is, not, this is not to crash you, but to make, to make you understand. I understand what tourism is. Most of us do. I work in the tourism in, in industry. I feed the tourists that come here. You know, most of us do. We know that. But to tell us that we have we, we would be nothing without Hawaii, I mean without the military and tourism. You know, we're people that set back thousands of years that we, we lived off the land. And yeah, we were Americanized by the white people. And it's not this this is not to be racial, it's just to tell you that you know you was wrong. That, that, I mean, that's why 70%, as much as you claim about the beginning, it was that video that made 70% say what they said to you. Because one, you've never been here. Two, you don't really have any knowledge. Three, you're home broadcasting from a computer and you're drinking. So what should that tell everybody else? You know, what do you want? How do you want us to receive that? Okay. In Hawaii, out of 100%, is break down into thirds, okay? A third of the people, well, just push this off and just not care. A third of the people, which is like the 70% that um, commented you, um, go and get defenses and really get pissed off. And then a third of the other people, like some of the, you know, the 30% that commented, and me, you know, we believe in, 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 in sharing our aloha. But we don't want our aloha to be taken for granted. Especially if you've never been here to experience what aloha is. Hawaii is aloha. But in every single state, there's always that third, that ratio of people. There is. No matter where you go. State, country. It doesn't matter. Everybody is the same thing. So if you have one person from some other state comes and knocks your state around. You know, especially for the people that believe that they live here. Granted, 10 death threats, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of heavy. But you also got to think, you know, you brought it on yourself when you did that video. And like the guy said, yeah, you should come here. You should experience it. You should get to know. You should get to know our culture. Experience what it really is for yourself. Not listen to what somebody else said. Because there's a 10% out of everybody that comes here that makes it bad for the people that want to come here. Or the people that try to live here. We are. We, we, we proud, you know, us Polynesians. You know, we, we proud people. We're not that trustworthy. We try. But, like I said again, in any state, there's always that. There's always that thing. There's always that percentage that going to be real defensive if somebody that doesn't belong there comes. It's not just here. You know, and granted, yeah, part of it is an apology video, you know, but to the 30%. And maybe you feel you shouldn't apologize to the 70%. But, you know, granted, I believe that maybe you should. Because of the way the comments was. You know, that's why the 70% did write that. 
It's how they feel. It's how we all feel. But some of us handle it differently. I don't know if you've seen my other video that I posted from Periscope. Yeah, I was pissed off, but I didn't use the F-bombs, okay? I referred to shit spot because you said that. I didn't go swearing off Minnesota. I'm trying to make a point. Hawaii is Hawaii. I'm proud of my home, and most of us are. And it's just like the guy, like you said, that you read the guy's email. You should come. You should come in and experience it. But after the video, that might be kind of hard. You know, it's, it's, that's a non-trusting video, you know. And what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to keep it classy here. I'm not swearing at you. I'm not knocking Minnesota. I'm just trying to explain to you that, yeah, what you did was kind of was wrong. But I understand both sides of the story. But again, I will stand up and defend my home and everybody here. But I don't think anybody else really did a video to, to show you that. But I am. And it's not to show that I'm better or anything. It's to show that I understand. I as like like how you are one one person that just shit it all over Hawaii in, in about 10 minutes on a video. I as one person can turn around and still show you aloha. As much as you, you've done that. You know? Maybe not everybody might agree. But like I said, they don't call me the Hawaiian teddy bear for nothing. But it's to show you that even that 30%, you know, yeah, they they got their apology. But that 70%, that other 70%, deserves something like that. Because you just you just bombarded our home, you know? But I'm not I'm not on here, you know, calling you every you know F word or D word or whatever. I just trying to make you understand that, that some of us we do. And like how you that one person that went and shot us down, I'm one of the one few people that can stand up and gonna defend, but I gonna defend Hawaii classy. So, you know, I mean, you may say what you say, you may see this video, I don't know if you see this video, but I hope you do. And like, like the guy said, hey, come here. You have pissed off people. And because of comments that you read, and yeah, of course people are gonna do that. So you gotta, you gotta use this a little bit more. You know, be careful what you say. I've, I, I heard you've done it other places, and you admit it too. But you know, Hawaii is a, is a state that that grew, that has grown a lot over the years, over the many years. You know, and in the defense of those ladies, who knows? You know, maybe maybe they're cocky. Maybe they're you know maybe they don't respect our our land. But not everybody gets treated like that. But, you know, I'm, from me to you, thank you for apologizing to that 30%. But I urge you to send an apology to the 70%. Because the 70% wouldn't be like that if you didn't, have, if you didn't say all those things. It's, it's my peace of mind to you, you know. Sure, hey, you can come. You're still allowed to come here. But... Like I said, that video did go viral because of what was said. Because of, you know, the things that that you thought or you heard or things that was commented to you. You know, is really 50% of it is, re um, is irrelevant, you know. So, like I said, on behalf of Hawaii and the 808 state, I am the Hawaiian teddy bear and i just telling you. I telling you straight and like how it is, you know. I'm not gonna bash your state because you bashed ours, but I'm trying to make you understand that you that you really need to understand our culture, our way of life, the way we do things here in Hawaii before you start bashing it. And as far as the ladies that made those comments, well, like they say, karma is a bitch. It comes around. What goes around comes around. You know. I'm all about trying to spread aloha. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to. Do anything else but just make you understand that, and that's something that, as a person, that you need to that you need to experience. Aloha is a rare thing, but when it's given, it's given with a whole heart. And as much as you you piss me and seventy percent of a, of a hundred people off by that video, I can still take the high road and say, well, you know, maybe he had reasons, even if he didn't. But I am gonna tell you straight out that I. 
I think that the 70% of people need an apology. Just because. There's a reason why they all pissed off. And like I said, there's nothing I can do about the death threats, but like I said, again, it's because of the video. So with that in mind, you know, for me to you, personally, you know, hopefully, maybe we'll get an apology video for them. And if not, well, you know, that's how life goes. But, Aloha is something that is not, is, is not always giving, but should be. And you guys, yeah, you guys bring the tourism. The tourism comes here. The military is here. But our Aloha is here. It's given out to everybody. And maybe not everybody has it, but I will guarantee you at least 70% of that people would give that. So on behalf of the Edo State, I am the Hawaiian teddy bear. Stay up, stay positive, stay blessed. One love to the man upstairs.